What would you say really drove you to do porn though? Would you say that it was, did you want the fame? Did you want the money and the independence? Did you want to actually just explore your own sexuality? I think it was, I just got this like rush from doing it, of being in front of a camera. Um, I definitely didn't know that I was going to be so turned on at having sex in front of a camera. Mm. And I just got this like rush out of it and I wanted to do it. And also really explore. Mm. It's definitely fun and being watched. You're like, yeah, yeah, it's my it's my kink. We think I of you it. as one of the queens of modern day anal. Hell yes. yeah! Were you already? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Were you already? You're like an Olympic anal athlete. Were you already in the anal game before you got into porn, or was that how you got into it? No, my first um, anal was on camera. Like the first time I wait, ever, really? Mm -hmm. How'd you prepare for it? I really didn't. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god my asshole hurts hearing this right now i really did i really it. did it <laughs> i literally like used um i just like used the dildo for like maybe the two days leading up to it mm -hmm. and like i really didn't like it that much and i was like fuck it i'll just let the adrenaline kick in really and then i just did it on camera and i think i did it like twice more on camera and then i was like oh i love this right so it didn't really hurt did it did the adrenaline and the fact that you're in the moment <laughs> did it like help you to get over it um yeah after like the first position i was like okay i need to ease this. into it yeah. and you got it. do you like dp more than anal because i keep hearing that from a lot of the girls i love it so much but i've only had it twice You've only had DP twice. Only. That seems like a lot of times. More, <laughs> two more times than I've had it. <laughs> That's one thing I always wonder about because I feel like DP is something that would be really hard for a girl to like figure out that she likes on her own. And that yeah. probably a lot of girls who do DP is the first time is, is on camera. Yeah, it was on camera. Was it yeah. intense? No, it was awesome. I, um, I, I was shooting an anal scene with two guys, but they weren't DPing me. And... Uh, we were fucking around and I was like, you guys should DP me off camera. And they did for like maybe 20 seconds. And I was like, oh, I need that again. And then like a year later, I did my first DP on camera. Wow. But it was awesome. So do you just fall in love with the male talent sometimes? Like, are you <laughs> that type that you just start whispering in this dude's ear while you're hooking up with him? I, I need you guys to come DP me later. Do like, I? that seems like so much, like such an added benefit for this dude. Does that seem like something I would do? Yes. Yeah, actually, I feel like I totally you're, the way that. you're talking right now, you're getting all seductive. I can see how this went down. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm usually a flirt with the guys on camp or on set. Like I'm there flirting the entire time because I wanted to be good. Like I always want the guy to feel like I'm into him, into yeah. him, and like it's gonna be fun. That's crazy to think that some girls that's just a job for them, and then they go home and they're like, actually, like, damn, I'm annoyed that I got DP'd today. And you're like in the moment, like this is fucking awesome, yeah. and then you go home and you're like, that was sick. I gotta book another one, like a fucking snowboarder just climbing up that mountain. <laughs> I just keep hearing from girls. They're like, I, I don't like anal as much as I like DP. I'm like, what? No, I, I actually, I like it. I couldn't do it as much as I do anal, but it's nice. It's just a different feeling. You're not um, afraid that you're going to like tear in half, like all that's happening? No. no. It's not as crazy. Is it not as crazy as we no, probably think it is? I think is? it's so crazy. <laughs> I think that like there's some scenes with like the really big dicks. Right that are harder than doing a DP with like two good sized cocks. Really? Yeah. So have you ever, what's the biggest challenge you ever ran into in the, the porn world? You ever run into a dick that you're just like, I don't think I can, <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. I just did a, it just came out today. It was um, anal with Dread. Dread, you hear about him a lot. He's got the scariest one in the game, huh? This that, big. The first time I saw it, I was like, what is that? <laughs> and like, <laughs> what is that? You don't even know what body part it, it is. It looks like I an elephant's love, trunk. It's I like love crazy. Dread so much, but I it just I saw you promote that on Twitter and I had to re-watch it like a couple times because I'm just so I'm not even getting turned on. I just feel like I'm looking at it like a, as like a science Scary. experiment. Like how can you fit something this big into something this small? 
Hey man, that's the one percent. You know, the God made oh, all these dicks. Point zero one. And, and this guy just somehow hit the genetic lottery. Like he's he's like the Usain Bolt of having a penis. Well, I, I, I completely agree. His um, his videos that he makes at home are so pretty because he just has this like huge cock, and then you see a pretty girl just you know sucking on it, and it's so cute. Right, <laughs> because her head is so, so small cute, in yeah, comparison and like, to the giant coffee can, Pringles can <laughs> style penis that it, you can't help but be like, oh, she looks so cute against this. But when I see a girl sucking staff. his dick, she's literally like holding like a tenth of his dick in her hand and like barely getting her mouth over really? the front because it's so big. Yeah, I mean, you can't like, get much in there. It's no. like, it's gnarly. Is it like that in your ass and stuff too, where you feel like it's only really fucking like a handful of inches of butthole? I can't describe it. It was like <laughs> it was like a year ago. Um, oh, really? It was a year ago, and it came out today. Almost, yeah. But oh, that wow. was before I did the DP, so I was like, oh, he prepared you. Yeah, like, yeah, you could do chill. anything. Wow. Yeah. Could That's you true. ever DP? I'm just thinking about this right now because I cannot imagine you being okay with standing that close to someone else's dick. <laughs> I think it's a little too much in your personal space. I mean, I feel like if I really felt like I was homies with the dude, you know, I'm all about having good times with my bros. So. I feel like you would have to be intoxicated. I don't see it going any other way. I don't know, <laughs> man. I might light up a Marlboro and just DP a girl. <laughs> I don't know. I can see it happening, man. I don't really <laughs> want my legs rubbing against this other dude's legs, but maybe he's real flexible. He could have his legs up and back and stuff. That could be cool. I, I almost want to see it. I already know that you're dying to get DP. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're just dying said. for me to find a guy to do this with you. No. She's had a lot of questions today no. about the DP. I can read about it. I just, it. like, every time I watch a DP, I'm like, I can't imagine Adam doing this because I feel like you're very, like, sometimes you don't like me in your personal space and I'm your girlfriend. You're like, mm. you're too close. Right. So I just really couldn't imagine you. This no. this far this much skin separating your two dicks. Listen, if we booked a shoot here and it was me and another dude and not you, another girl, and they oh, were okay. like, oh, like DP this girl. I mean, what, what do I care? My freaking kneecap touching against this guy's thigh a little bit. Like, I mean, I could live with that. I almost want to watch it. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I could do it. It's like, <laughs> like once you actually start doing porn, it's kind of like. I'm up for the challenge. Like I would like somebody asked me if like would you fuck your girlfriend with a trans person? And I'm thinking like, well, I wouldn't in my private life, but if it's for the content, you know, I guess. Hmm. For the content. Why not? You're up for the challenge. You know, it's not something that necessarily sparks me, but for the challenge of what, what's the most challenging <laughs> scene you ever had that you really felt like maybe I'm not gonna make it through this. Well, we just talked about those, the drug guy. I it think it was one. it was the drug okay. yeah. one, and then I just did. I don't know, one time I was just, I think it was like my third anal day in a row and I was just done and I was shooting with two guys and that was a challenge. Mm. Just because it was a lot is the, going the on. Double anal is mm -hmm. a challenge? Or you don't, I've never done that. You haven't done that? No. Is that something you're interested in? Yeah. Really? really? Oh my gosh. I'm like scared. <laughs> I did an anal like six months ago and I think I'm still good for, for her. So, and she's over here doing it like three days no, in a row. No, I am um, not for a while, but that sounds like a good time. We're planning on doing an episode in the future called the Anal Olympics, where we're going to have a couple of different girls and we're going to see who can actually stretch their ass out the most. Would you participate? Hell yeah. Mm, okay. Do you think you're a gape queen? I feel like I can take dick really, really good in my butt, but I don't have the craziest gapes. Really? I don't think I do either. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to do it. I'm but not, I can so gape. Open. Right, because your your famous uh, tweet that we always bring up is just all caps, I want bigger gapes. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Blew my mind. <laughs> For a month of my life. Blew my mind. I just, we used I, to not be able to talk about you I, without <laughs> saying this tweet. I just thought it was so <laughs> funny that you were that dedicated and passionate about having a I, more stretched out asshole. I still want it really bad. Right. Would you, um, do you still hook up with girls in your private life? Like, do you, do you, are you into that? What are you actually like turned on by when you're not shooting or do you shoot so much that you don't really get to explore your private sexual life as much? No, I, um, I'm pretty, I have a lot of threesomes. Really? Like every now and then with like a cute girl and a guy. You like being the third? 
No, I like for her to be the third. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's your All guy, right. and then you go find a girl, right? Or you know, I don't know. Or we can tag team the guy together i feel bad for all the times i made you the third no i like it i like being the third too right but um i'll do like a threesome or just like normal casual sex okay with a guy so porn hasn't slowed down your your sexual desires right have you tried anything new in recent memory that you're excited about I don't know if I have or not. I feel like COVID's probably made it hard to just fuck random outside of yeah. I, I dicks. don't. I haven't done that for a while. I had like my crazy, wild phase, but I chilled out on that part. Right. Of like hooking up with randos. I can think of some randos that you hooked up with. Really? Don't air her out. I'm not airing nothing out. I'm just, I want to yeah. hear them later. I'm like, what <laughs> randos? You know what? I don't know who he's talking about, and I feel like I would know. No, I mean, it's just like, you know, when you're in the porn game and you find out that one of your friends is slamming a girl that, like, you just, you know, it was a little awkward at one point because there was a guy that you were seeing in your private life, and I'm friends with him, and then you were literally over my house doing an anal threesome with me and Lena, and then I'm just, like, kind of wondering, like, like, I wonder if he... Has any thoughts oh, on that? I remember. Right. <laughs> it wasn't uh, a rant, he didn't say anything, but I mean, it was just kind of in my head. It was like, I wonder if I should. Like, I'm not going to mention this to <laughs> him. Text him like, hey, just fuck the girl that away. you're fucking. I don't want to rub it in or anything because I don't yeah, even do. know if he cares. <laughs> yeah. You so do. Did I? I actually might have been like, haha, how was that? Hey, uh, oh my God, I love it. Well, <laughs> does that kind of turn you on the idea of dudes just sort of like being hyped on boning you like that? Or is that is that a weird. No, I like it. Nice. I still get pretty. Like, I like it. I like attention. Definitely. I'm awful, mm-hmm. obviously. <laughs> One thing that I really just want to make sure that we have happen during this podcast is I just want to see the mental image of Lena transitioning from podcast host to ass eater and just sort of like bending over oh, okay. and eating Emily's <laughs> ass on this podcast. I just want to throw that out there. That's just like one thing that I want to accomplish. Hey, I've been there before. I, like I, have, I have no problems going there. Right. Come here. I need you right here next to this man. All bent over? Yes. Like a little slut? Yes. 